Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Batwoman, and we're going to be talking about DC Universe as well, so this is going to be one whole big video. Got lots of exciting new news and updates for you guys in this video, so if you do go on to enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we got some awesome news to do with Batwoman, we're going to be talking about that first, and then we'll move on to talk about DC Universe and what's coming up. Because Young Justice is airing tomorrow. Season 3 is finally here after God knows how many years. So we'll talk about all of that. Doom Patrol, Titans, all of that. And the release schedule for DC Universe in this video. So first off let's talk about what's going to be happening to do with Batwoman. So it was a mere few weeks ago that the crossover actually ended. And... That was the first time we saw Batwoman played by Ruby Rose, so she debuted in the Elseworlds crossover. And so presumably she's going to return for the crossover next year considering she set up the ending and today we got the news that yes, as there was speculation about, Batwoman is going officially into production and officially moving forward to a pilot. and. Yes, they ordered the episode ages ago, but it, now it's finally been greenlit. So obviously the CW were pleased with the reaction to Ruby Rose as Batwoman. Because I know some people that didn't like her. I know Declan who runs DC TV Talk didn't like her. And I believe a few other people didn't like her. But people like myself who weren't all too impressed with Ruby Rose's acting in prior projects was kind of impressed in the short amount of time that she appeared in the Elseworlds crossover. So yes, I didn't get as much Batwoman as I wanted in the crossover, but it was just such a big story to set up Crisis on Infinite Earths next year that I can understand why. But I was impressed in the short amount of time, especially with Ruby as Batwoman. We didn't really get too much of her as her normal self, but I was impressed. I really liked the connection with her and Melissa. I thought the Batwoman-Supergirl relationship in the brief amount of time they had together on screen was very very impressive and I look forward to this so they've officially greenlit this they've got a director on to direct the pilot that is David Nutter he did Arrow and the Flashes pilot episodes he also directed a few Game of Thrones episodes which is obviously very big and so if you go back and check the Flash and Arrow pilot episodes they are probably up there with some of the best episodes in the entire run it's just entirely nostalgic and David Nutter knows how to direct them to set up stuff for the future for other directors, other people to come and take if he doesn't want to continue doing them. Maybe he just likes doing pilots. I'm not all too familiar with his other work apart from those pilots. And so the description going forward into Ruby Rose's Batwoman series is this. So she is the first ever superhero led by a lesbian character, so the first ever TV show in the world and she's openly gay as an actress and so that seems to be like a big sort of leap and the official description for the series is armed with a passion for social justice, a flair for speaking her mind, Kate Kane soars onto the streets of Gotham as Batwoman, an out lesbian and highly trained street fighter primed to snuff out the failing city's criminal resurgence. But don't call her a hero yet. In a city desperate for a savior, Kate must overcome her own demons before embracing the call to be Gotham's symbol of hope. That is the official description I think is really interesting. I think it definitely rings Arrow if you're thinking of any show. It rings that it's going to be quite dark. It's going to be on street level. It's not going to have like any meta humans or aliens like Supergirl or The Flash most likely for the most part. And they seem to really really want to get the fact out that she's going to be an out lesbian. So that's going to play a prominent part in the series. And I think with Greg Belanti and him actually executive producing this show and producing all the other shows and with his film Love, Simon, which is about a kid who slowly becomes openly gay. And so it's a strong passion of Greg, so you can see that he wants to do this and this is going to be sort of at least there for the first part of season one at least. But right now, all we know is there's a greenlit pilot. They haven't said the whole season's been greenlit. But we'll see how that pilot goes. If people like it, they will do the whole season. If they don't like it, they'll just cut it off there 
and it would just be the pilot episode and maybe she would just appear in the crossover. So let's move on to talk about DC Universe. So Young Justice is coming out tomorrow. So Young Justice Season 3, they're calling it Outsiders. Some people have been able to watch it. I've tried to actually watch it, but I've had some travels with Warner Brothers recently in regards to watching their screeners but I should but I will be watching it all tomorrow when you guys do so I'm sure I will put up a review because I'm very very excited because Young Justice was the original thing that made me want to start doing DC videos and made me get into DC properly like more so than just watching Batman and Superman and so it's scheduled to premiere tomorrow in the United States on DC Universe, January 4th. And we don't know what time, but they release Titans sometime in the UK time in the morning. So look out for that. And so the first 13 episodes of the season will be released in three episode blocks. So tomorrow there will be three episodes. I think the episodes were about 20 to 25 minutes long. And so that's like a rough average of about 60 to 70 to 80 minutes somewhere around there it depends on the runtime of each episode i just can't specifically remember the exact count and so those episodes will be released on january 4th 11th 18th and then four episodes will specifically be released on january 25th which will serve as the mid-season finale and then the second half of the season will take a break and will come back sometime in june so there's a little bit of a gap between the end of january and sometime in June but let's go through the DC Universe slate and the way that they're going to be releasing it so as you can see on the graphic on screen right now they released this a while ago so starting from October this year we had Titans we finished that I love Titans I thought it was such a great start to the show I'm really looking forward to season two so that's ended now and then we got Young Justice coming up tomorrow and then as you can see it goes all the way through to the end of January, start of February. I think they changed that a little bit. But then we've got Doom Patrol and Doom Patrol is set to come out in February. And I'm not sure if we know the specific date right now but it's definitely February time. And so that's going to run on probably a little bit longer than Titans to about mid-May-ish. And it's been officially confirmed Doom Patrol has been renewed for season 2. So we'll see Titans, Doom Patrol, most likely Young Justice again next year. And then maybe Swamp Thing, Stargo and Harley Quinn. We'll wait and see. But yes, yeah, so Doom Patrol until about mid-May. And then Swamp Thing is going to start again just prior to when Young Justice returns. So Swamp Thing is going to be starting in this May. And then it's going to go all the way through to just before September. So mid-August it will start for the end of Season 1. And so if we skip back, we go to June. And Young Justice, the back half of the season, starts again. And then it concludes with its final 13 episodes until about mid-July. That's when it finishes. And so we go to mid-August, just after Swamp Thing is finished, we've got Stargirl. So you can see that's a continuing loop. Like, one ends, you got the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. And I think they're going to try and do that. So there's no massive gaps between original content because they want people to subscribe to this and maybe in the next few years it will become international we can all hope that is true and so Stargirl starts mid-August and that's going to be season one and it ends in mid-November so that's going to be out for a while so I'm guessing Doom Patrol, Swamp Thing and Stargirl potentially have like a few more episodes than what Titans has because in the graphic it looks like they last longer and so maybe it's like 13 episodes, I do believe. And Titans, I think, was only 11 as far as I can remember. And so that gives it a few more weeks. And then we got Harley Quinn overlapping with Stargirl. That's going to be from mid-October till early 2020 in January. So that's next year. So that's going to be lasting about the same time. So probably about the same amount of episodes as Young Justice. Maybe a bit less. I don't know what exactly they're going for with the Harley Quinn thing. That's the TV show that I'm least aware of, but also least excited about. I think it's a cool idea, but I'm more excited about Doom Patrol, Young Justice, Swamp Thing, and Stargirl. Especially, actually, Stargirl, because they announced recently that they're going to be doing a version of the Justice Society of America, which we saw in Legends, and I'm a massive fan of those characters in Stargirl, so really looking forward to that, as well as Swamp Thing. Very impressed by Doom Patrol and Titans, looking forward to that, and Young Justice is just a classic to me. And so get ready for that tomorrow, I'm sure I'll do a video on it, trying to review those three episodes, so 
please be sure to not miss them. And if you're excited for Batwoman, let me know in the comments down below. We should be seeing that sometime later this year as well. Maybe it's going to be a full release. Maybe they're going to release it in the summer. We don't know, but they're going to start filming very, very soon because they've been officially greenlit. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp breathe.